Here we have a CMS 2000 solar inverter and you can see that this one's uh, totally blank on the, on the screen, on the display. There's no lights there at all and uh, it's beautiful, bright and sunny outside so there certainly should be something on the screen. There should be a, a readout on the screen and the power on green light should be on as well. But in this case we've got nothing at all. So uh, if your inverter is doing this, your CMS 2000 is doing this, or CMS 1500 is doing this, one thing you can try is try rebooting the system. It's most likely not going to work, but look, it's worth, uh, worth a go. To reboot a system, we always follow the shutdown procedure, which is we turn off the solar supply main switch, which is located in your switchboard, or the inverter AC isolator are off first. In this case, we've got an inverter AC isolator beside the, switch, the, beside the uh, inverter, so we'll turn that one off. Then we turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter. So we've got that on the left hand side here. We'll throw that off and we'll leave it a few moments and see if anything changes. Now, what we're seeing on the screen here on the, on the inverter is totally normal for uh, night time. If, if the solar inverter is not detecting any power from the uh, solar panels, it's going to be in this mode. So this could always be a problem with the solar panels or the wiring to the solar panels or even the circuit breaker beside the inverter. So we're just going to try and uh, reboot this now. The order to uh, reboot the system doesn't matter. It's not important. You just need to go, everything go back on. And we're not getting any change there. It's still the same. If your CMS 2000 inverter or CMS 1500 inverter is coming up like this and you've got a beautiful sunny day outside, the best thing to do is get out a accredited solar electrician to come and check out your system because there's an issue there and uh, which needs to be worked out. In this case, uh, we definitely have power from getting into the inverter from the solar panels. We also have power coming in from the uh, switchboard, from the electricity grid and we've still got uh, no lights on the inverter at all, so which means there's an internal failure with the inverter and it's going to need to be replaced. Now unfortunately the manufacturer CMS, Carbon Management Solutions, Proprietary Limited, have gone into receivership, they're not around anymore, although they pretty much still trade, but under a slightly different name, which I think is ridiculous, but that's a story for another time. So if your CMS inverter uh, after being tested, it is a problem inside the inverter, you are going to need to replace it. There are no, uh, it's not covered under warranty, there is no warranty anymore. So uh, you, you could try and get it fixed, but there's no real point in throwing good money after bad money. Uh, if you do get it fixed, you're still going to have no warranty, you're better off spending a little bit more money, replacing the inverter with a good quality replacement unit, and uh, having a full new warranty. So look, I'm sorry that your CMS inverter is having an issue. If you're on the Gold Coast or Brisbane, Gold Coast Solar can help you. If you're elsewhere, I'd recommend trying to get in contact with a local solar expert. And uh, look, I hope this uh, video has been helpful for you. Thanks very much.